Hey guys, Jeff Disher, real estate broker with the Disher Group at Douglas Element. And today I want to talk about real estate and I want to talk about how it is a forced savings plan. What does that mean? And why am I approaching it this way? Because a lot of people that don't own property, don't want to get into property, don't want to be locked down. There's people like Grant Cardone who say, never buy your primary residence, even though now he's saying he buys it with his corporation, so it's like a loophole weird thing. But I never understood that because most people have been selling real estate for a long time um, and I am obsessed with finance, investing, real estate. And I know that the average person doesn't have five, 10,000 bucks in their account. Most people don't have the three and a half percent down to buy. But when they do get that, they should be buying a house and let me tell you why. Because most people won't save money. Most people are on a salary paycheck, just say they make 75, 80,000 a year, they're getting the same amount every two weeks and they live based off that. Okay, and most people live right into their paycheck, meaning that their bills pretty much are absorbing their whole check and they're living check to check. That's most people. I know this because I remember back in the day, and this is everyone that I've talked to, it's lots of clients, lots of friends. I remember when I, back in the day, uh, was working at 24 Fitness, it was hard for me to save up three or 4,000. I was making about 45, 48,000 a year. Um, and it was hard to save up three, four thousand dollars. And every time I would save it up, get to three, four thousand, get excited, I would, something would happen, and I would go spend a thousand or two thousand. So I was never able to save up money. When I bought my first condo, I actually had to borrow money for my three and a half percent down of my hundred twelve thousand dollar condo to make that uh, down payment for the three and a half percent, and then I paid it back. My point is. Most people will never have a nest egg. They put money away in their 401k, they stock it away for a long period of time, but most people will never have a big nest egg. So I tell people one awesome aspect of buying a home is it's a forced savings plan. When you rent, you pay your landlord, your landlord pays the mortgage company and builds equity and becomes rich. When you pay that rent, you never get back. So if you're paying 2,000 bucks a month, that's 24,000 a year, for 10 years, you're throwing away 240,000 bucks. If you rent and you pay that down, two things happen. First of all, there's a thing called amortization, which means that as you make your payment, your balance goes down. So you buy it for 500, you put down three and a half percent, or just say you put down 10 percent, you owe 450. In 10 years, you'll probably owe 380, right? So you have that. You're paying yourself back to own your property because when you go sell that property, you get all that money back. So you have the, the amortization plus you have appreciation, meaning that over time your property value will go up. So when you do decide to sell, if you ever need a nest egg, not only do you need a place to stay and you will always need a place to stay, now you have a nest egg. So when you sell that, you get all your money out. Taxes are a whole separate video, but you get your money out and now you have a nest egg. Now you can figure out your life and not worry much about money. A lot of these people, I don't know, they're hoping that they're, they're socking away a little bit of money in their 401k or their savings that when they retire, they're gonna be able to live the life they wanna live. So I'm trying to tell people that one of the biggest reasons is don't try to get rich off buying real estate, but just know long term when you pay that down, you will be building a nest egg. It's a four savings plan and a good one at that. So if you don't have money, if you don't have 25, 30,000 sit in your account, you don't have a nest egg built up, go buy a property. I promise you it will pay. If you don't want to live there, buy one, rent it out, build equity. You're going to need a place to stay anyway. So you might as well pay down your own mortgage and build your own nest egg so your landlord does it. Be sure to follow me guys, Facebook, Jeff Disher, YouTube, Jeff Disher, and Instagram, I sell real estate. Until then, see you guys next time.